Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Okay, I just have to say thank you. Thank you to all of my new subscribers um, and to all of my wonderful <laughs> family and friends on here. Y'all are just the best. I mean, I cannot tell you how thankful and blessed I am. When I did that pumpkin wreath, y'all, this whole thing, you, uh, learning camera angles is tricky. It really is. It may seem easy until you're actually trying to do it. So this video where I made this pumpkin wreath, y'all are so kind and so supportive and just so wonderful. I just have to say thank you. <laughs> and if you have not seen the video from when I made this pumpkin wreath, um, I will post it down below in the link and then maybe it was also at the end of the video. But I just, I can't say thank you enough. Just how sweet and how much I appreciate it and how much you all have just <laughs> made me so happy. So we were on vacation all last week and like my new subscribers, I was just amazed. So thank you. And like I said, thank you to all my wonderful family and friends that have been, been with me and just, I love you. I really do. I love you. You just, you don't know, you don't know how happy you make me. <laughs> so anyways, okay. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul. Like I said, my husband was on vacation for two weeks. <laughs> So I have not been to the Dollar Tree in those two weeks. So I was so excited to go in there today. So, okay, let's get to it. All right, so to start with, I found the Scarecrows. Look how cute these are. I love these, especially this one. This little boy right here is adorable. I love his little denim overalls. He's got the little crow. This is an extra piece that says the welcome for the brim of his hat. They're so cute. And then you have the little girl. She's got like a little, little skirt on, little overall skirt, her little scarf. There's she's got a little sunflower. She says, happy fall, but they are adorable. And if you don't want them like this, you could always turn it over and then do something on the back of them. But these are a great size. These are the same size as the rabbit ones they had for Easter. So these are like really good but they're adorable. So I found those. And then I was shocked when I found this. Look how cute this rug is. It's got the truck. It says, hello fall. Um, this would be really cute layered on top of a buffalo check mat or buffalo check rug. This is really cute. Now this is very lightweight. So this will pull away very easily, especially on my front porch. The wind like whips through our front porch. But like maybe like some spray adhesive or something on the back of it or maybe some um, velcro strips something just to kind of help hold this down but it's so cute I mean for a dollar it's crazy so I got that one and then I also grabbed it says hey there pumpkin and look how pretty this one is that is just so pretty I love you too buddy it's like once again you know very lightweight but this would look great on top of the black and white buffalo check I kind of decide like where I want to put all this stuff. <laughs> okay, so I got that. And then I was shocked when I found the huge thing of deco mesh. I've seen other people haul these. I've seen them in like purple, black, green, but I found this one. It's kind of like a bluish green color. It is 21 inches wide by in by eight yards. This is really good. Let's open it. So yeah, it's really thick. And see, it's kind of like a bluish green. It's kind of hard to tell. But oh, so pretty. This will make some beautiful wreath. So I did grab, <laughs> I myself in the face. <laughs> so I grabbed three of these for some wreaths and there was like a stack more of them, but it was only this color. So I got those. Okay, and then I found two more of the pumpkin frames. Uh, I love working with the pumpkin. So if you saw um, my last video, we made this pumpkin together. It turned out beautiful. I absolutely love it. Um, the back is very clean and neat. I had someone ask why I did the back. Why well, do the back? 
because one, I have a very large glass door. So whatever's hanging on my door, you see it. You see it inside our living room. So I like this to be nice. And also these wires, they can scratch a door very easily. So just kind of by doing this, it just adds a little extra security to that. Now I don't always do the back of my wreaths, but with these pumpkin ones, I do. So, so I will, if you've not seen this video that we made together, I will post it down. I will post it in the link for you. And then I also found the large witch's hat. And I've never used one of these before, but I had several people ask me if I could do something with the witch hat. So absolutely, we will do something with this together and it will be my first time too, but hey, <laughs> I will figure this out and we will do it together. So, but I mean, it's large. This is a very big hat. <laughs> you see that? Hey, right. and you could also, witch hat, scarecrow, Christmas tree. You know, you could wrap this in green and put something down here, like some burlap or something, and make a big, large Christmas tree with this too. So, and then I also saw somebody, they got five of these, and they put it together, and they made a large star. So you could do a star and wrap it in, like, yellow, and make it a star for Christmas or something, but, you know, you always, like, think of other things that you could do with this stuff. Okay, okay and then I grabbed this beautiful pumpkin. It says thankful and blessed. Love it. Hobby Lobby has something almost identical to it. Maybe just a little bit bigger, but almost identical. So I grabbed one of these. So pretty. Love the shape of it. It looks beautiful on a wreath. Um, you could turn it over, do something else to it, or just as is. This is so pretty. But I did grab one of the jack-o'-lanterns, the cutout. You know, it's a very thin, chippy <laughs> kind of wood. So I got that one. And then I got the one with the 3D face. So you can kind of see the difference. Look very cute. Like that. I grabbed one of these little coffee cups. It can be like a picture frame. You can keep that on there. It's got the little kickstand on the back. I thought this would be really cute to kind of do something like pumpkin spice with it or like witch's brew coffee. So I thought this would be cute to paint it up. Maybe do something with Cricut or stickers or something, but just to change this. So I grabbed one of those. Then the Crafter Square section, I was shocked. I found the Buffalo Check, um, just this craft fabric, just the square. So I grabbed two of these. It was a whole brand new box. So I only grabbed two, there was still plenty more. Um, they had one with like orange and black pumpkins on it. I just grabbed these two. So, and these are, how big is this? 20 by 21 inches. So, good size. So, I got those two. I grabbed a pack of googly eyes just for some projects coming up. Got that. This is great for Halloween and for Christmas. Just different things. Like, you can do some reindeer with googly eyes. You can do ghosts with googly eyes. So, I got that. Um, I grabbed one of these. It's called Forever in Time is the brand. It's this kind of like a, it's kind of like a rose gold, kind of a copper color. So I grabbed one of these for a couple things to do. So hopefully it writes very well. Just says metallic marker, fine tip. Got that. I only, I found some burlap. I need a couple more of these. But right now all I can find is one. Cause I was trying to do a project using everything from Dollar Tree, but it's kind of hard to find everything. So I may have to go to a couple more Dollar Trees to see if I can find it. If not, I'm gonna have to do just with what do I have here. But, so I got that one. I grabbed another thing of the beautiful leaves. It's the kind of like the sparkle glitter. I've got them on this pumpkin right here. See, I got them on this pumpkin. See how pretty that looks. Washers done. <laughs> but you see, when you add them onto the pumpkin, it just looks so pretty. So I just grabbed one more of those. Okay, and then they were stocking while I was there. That's why I guess I found this. <laughs> that was country. <laughs> That's why I found this. But I actually found the little wooden letters. I was shocked. I have not found the wooden letters in probably a couple months. 
always the numbers. I bet they have letters. So I grabbed just a couple packs of these. That way we can make a sign together. So got those. I grabbed the little chalkboard round tags. You get six in here and they're a really good size. So I got that. I got this cute little shape chalkboard tags. You get four in here. I really like the shape of them. Then I grabbed two of the eight by 10 reverse canvases, which once again, I have not known to find in a long time. So I was excited to find these. So I just grabbed two of them. Then I finally found Let It Go. <laughs> My stores just got these in. Like I saw people haul these a couple months ago, but I finally found one and I wanted this one for our bathroom. <laughs> so funny. Um, I've seen a few people do it. One of my really good friends on here, she did it in her bathroom and it's adorable. So, got let it go. <laughs> okay, and then I grabbed the most adorable spider. <laughs> I am terrified of spiders. I'm, me, Presley, Riley, my dad, my brother, we don't do spiders. But <laughs> this spider is so daggone cute. I buy a couple of these every year and I stick them on Therese, like when I did my Frankenstein wreath, like I stuck this up by his head, but they're just so cute. It's not spooky. So I really love this one, got that. And then I grabbed a package of these little spiders and they light up. They take two, um, two AA batteries. So Riley put those in for me. So let's turn them on. So this is them lit up. All right, let's see, let's turn them off first. See, just all the little spiders are on a wire. So you can kind of bend them, make them stay wherever you want them. And then we'll light them up. Boop. See? Now I must admit, I'm not a fan of LED lights. I don't like them. To me, a white almost looks blue. I like just the old school, kind of yellow, kind of glow to them. But yeah, but still, really, really cute. Just the little spiders. That. They also had sk um, <laughs> skulls, pumpkins, uh, was it an owl? Something else. But yeah, so I just went ahead and grabbed the little spiders. I grabbed the orange and black Harley Quinn. I grabbed two of these. I grabbed the orange with the white and black spider webs. It says Happy Halloween. I just got one of these. I got two of the witch's hats with spider webs. So I got two of those. I got two of the bats. Very cute. Two of those. And then I grabbed two of the jack-o'-lantern ribbons. So yeah, all of these are nine feet. Two and a half inches, nine feet long. So I grabbed two of pretty much all of them. These are for a wreath. <laughs> Okay, and then I grabbed a thing of gauze. <laughs> this is for a project too. Uh, it is three inches wide. It says two and a half yards unstretched, four and a half yards stretched. <laughs> so there you go. Depending on what you're gonna use this for, but I need this for a project. So got some white, pretty sure. Yes, thank goodness it is white. Some white gauze. Check out that. And then I stocked up on some batteries again. What the Kodak. I found double A's this time. It's the first time I've ever seen the Kodak double A's. So I grabbed two of these and there's eight in each. So I got those two. And then I also got two packs of the triple A's, which also have eight batteries. So you can't beat that, my goodness. A name brand Kodak, so hopefully these last because these are like for all the LED candles, especially with fall coming up. You know, you always want that kind of glow around the house. And then AA batteries disappear in this house. I don't know where they go or who keeps taking them, but AA's never last in our house. It's kind of random. The, um, the tortilla strips, love these if you do like um, chicken tortilla soup. If you do like a taco salad and this on top of it, really, really good. So I got that. And then I love these from the Dollar Tree. 
Rental Drip, name brand, it's the pop-up foil sheets. How many do you get? You get 25 in here. So you just pull this open. Well, just rip on. But you just pull that open. And then you just pull out. And then you just pull out a sheet. It's already cut. It's like the perfect size for a lot of things. You know, if you just have something you need to wrap up, like an onion or anything, just wrap it up really good. But yeah, so I love these. Yeah, I mean, I love these. They're just the perfect size and ready to go. Okay, and then I found for our little Bailey, they had toys, but it's name brand. It's Pet King, and um, I know that Walmart sells this. I don't know if like Feeder Supply or any of the larger stores but it's a really good quality. Like it doesn't feel like it's just gonna rip apart very easily, but they got squeakers in them. <laughs> Hello, Bailey. <laughs> so, but, I mean, they're so soft, this little blue color, like a little dog, it's got his little ears. And then this one kinda looks like a mouse or a little stuff bear or something. I wanna get one more. But, which one yeah, you, which one you whichever one you want, buddy. But yeah, so I just thought these were really cute. And when I saw that name brand on there, I was like, heck yeah, I'll get these. Because she loves to rip the stuffing out of stuffed animals. So when we give her stuff from Dollar Tree, she rips it apart. So easy, it's crazy. And of course, you know, we're always afraid it's going to get caught up in her insides. So, but. Okay, that is it. Um, like I said, it had been almost two weeks since I've been to the Dollar Tree. So I was so excited to go in there and find those cute little scarecrows and that truck rug. <laughs> and then to finally find one of these in the stores. Like I said, I saw this months ago on other people's videos and my stores are just now getting these in. So, so cute, very, very done. And they also had the long ones that kind of said like girl boss, queen of everything, um, something like the world's best teacher, and then something like something about being busy, which I didn't need any of those. So I just got that one. And then I'm really excited to do something with the witch's hat. So like I said, I've never done this before, but we will figure this out together. Okay, so that's it. I hope y'all have a great day and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching.